Joe was able to push Terrell back behind the line of contact. That means that Joe exerted more force on Terrell than Terrell exerted on Joe, right? You know it. No way, not at all. I'll work out with Ed. Well, actually, Terrell is right. You may have heard the expression, for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Well, that's the most common way of expressing Newton's third law, which is what's at work here. So now, to demonstrate that Terrell and Joe actually exerted the same size forces on each other, let's use these spring scales. The push that the players exert on each other during a collision works just like the pulling forces we just demonstrated. So they actually exert equal size forces on each other. If that's the case, then how come I was able to push Terrell backwards? The players move by pushing against the ground, which pushes back on each of them. If Joe pushes harder against the ground than Terrell, the force of the ground pushing back on him will also be larger, and the pair of players will move in the direction of this larger force. So remember, whenever two players collide, the forces that they exert on each other are actually the same size, even if one player is able to overpower the other.